Hey there, and thank you for watching this video. I'm Charles Knight, owner of Elevate Graphics. First of all, I just wanna thank you so much. Whether you're a previous customer of ours or just finding us for the first time today, our customers mean the world to us. Here at Elevate Graphics, we strive ourselves to make a great product at an affordable price. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment or look in the description where you can see our email address as well as our website link so you can check out all of our inventory. I hope this video helps you with your installation process. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hey everyone and thank you for watching the video. So to start off, we're going to clean the outside of the truck down with some alcohol and clean rags. Just make sure you get all the wax and dirt off. Next thing, we're going to take a spray bottle and fill it up with water and add about four to five pumps of dish soap in there. Then we're going to remove the backing paper, always starting with the big uh, driver or passenger door first. That way you get everything lined up. You're going to remove that backing paper, wet the vinyl down with your soapy water, wet the truck down with soapy water, and then apply your graphic being able to uh, move it around and line it up. That's what the soap helps with. Also, the soap helps with uh, removing any bubbles from your vinyl. So that's an important part. You want to make sure that you have that soap in there. Next, we're moving on to the back here, doing the same method. You can also wet the front part of the application down as well. That can uh, help with any curves and things like that. It helps it kind of just lay down a little bit better on certain edges and curves. And then as you saw there at the end there, you're going to use a clean rag just to kind of wipe it down, just help it adhere to the paint. Okay, so one big thing you wanna make sure that you do is that, that backing paper that you see me remove before we wet the vinyl, you wanna make sure that does not get wet at all. So if that wax paper backing, if that gets wet at all while it's on the vinyl itself, um, then it can uh, kind of crumble up and stick to the vinyl itself. And you wanna make sure that does not happen because that's a pain in the butt to remove. Depending on how much gets wet on there, um, it can cause complete damage and total loss to the graphic itself. So you wanna just make sure that that backing paper gets completely removed before you get anything wet at all on the vinyl. So switching over here, doing the other side of the vehicle, same steps. Just wanna make sure that you get all that water and all that soap out there using your clean rag there just to help it adhere down to the paint. So again, remove the backing, wet, wet the truck as well, and then install your graphic. The soap also helps you be able to move it around so that it's not going to stick instantly to the paint. So right here, I could lift that up and I could reposition it if I wanted to. Um, obviously, you don't have that much time from once you squeegee it down to be able to remove and reposition. So you want to make sure when you're squeegeeing it down that you're set and you're lined up where you want it to be. If, if it helps you to kind of stand back away from the truck and make sure that everything is lined up correctly, that's something that we do and we highly recommend that. The other thing you want to make sure is that you don't install this in direct sunlight. So here, as you can see, I'm in some shade. You just want to make sure that you don't do it in direct sunlight as that can cause bubbles. So in a garage or uh, make sure that you're in a good shady spot. So here, removing the application tape, you just want to make sure that that vinyl is staying stuck down. If it is trying to peel up with the application tape, then it just needs to dry longer. Usually we wait about 30 to 45 minutes or so. Uh, but that can also change based on weather. So if you're on a hotter day, then that water and soap can dry quicker. If it's a colder day, you just may want to wait longer. But um, every kit is obviously different. You just want to make sure it does stay down when you're peeling this up. And if it does not, you want to let it uh, dry a little bit longer. So. so we're just going to remove all this application tape using a clean rag to help you uh, just get any excess water off. And then here you're going to take a razor blade or an X-Acto knife and you're just going to trim the edges there. That's the only part that you should need to trim is right there between the cab and the bed just to give a help, uh, give a clean finish. But other than that, guys, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment and uh, we'll check you out in the next video.